Hey guys, good morning. Sorry, this is the only place where I can put you guys. So today I am curling my hair because I'm getting ready to go get my Brazilian wax. I have a lot of things to do today because tomorrow I'm going to be taking a class in Atlanta for just like a makeup class that I am going to do with this other makeup artist. Don't worry, I'll talk more about it. But today I'm going to pick up my kit. Since it's in Atlanta, I'm going to have to leave like really early. I'm just so anxious about traffic in Atlanta because it's not like, oh, it's at 9. I'm going to get there at 8.45. So no, like I feel like I need to be there an hour earlier just because you never know on the road, especially if you're going to Atlanta. So I'm going to try to leave around like 3.30 or 4. And no later than four because I don't want to risk it. I already told the lady, like the makeup artist, that I'm from Alabama. So hopefully she understands if I do go a little later. She's really, really sweet though. So I don't think that should be an issue. So last night, I tried to do the overnight legging heatless curls. And oh my gosh, I don't know how people do the leggings on their hair. I just could not, like I could not coordinate my hands and I'm really good at braiding, so I was like, this is going to be so easy, and it wasn't. It was really difficult. I'm not going to give up, though. I'm going to try it, but, like, not this week. I'm just not, not feeling it. I have very little patience, and right now I'm PMSing, so I'm even more, like, grouchy, and I feel very hormonal. I'm going to use a little bit of a texture spray from Kenra. My hair is way too clean. I'm also watching Kendall Ray. I love her channel so much. Oh, I'm still wearing my pajamas. I'm so tired. It's only, I think it's 10 already. I've been up since like 6 a.m. though, like off and on. And then I like had to stay up after seven because my dog woke me up. And then I was like, well, I can't go back to sleep anymore. But all, like I said, I'm gonna go get my Brazilian. I've been doing it for like a, over a year now. It's like the best thing ever. I won't take you with me because it's like in and out. It's very quick. Um, does it hurt? Sometimes it does hurt. It just depends. I usually don't like getting it before my period because I notice that it hurts a little bit more on me. I'm just more sensitive during this time. I had issues with ingrowns all the time, guys. So if you have issues with ingrown hair, try Brazilian. It's literally life-changing. Don't be a wuss. Just go and get it. Like, the pain is temporary, but the results are so good. They literally, like, take everything out from the root. So literally, your hair doesn't grow back to like maybe three weeks in a month so if you've been thinking about it just try it out i personally love it especially during the summertime when you're wearing bikinis and stuff brazilians oh also if you have not noticed my hands my body oh my gosh it's so dark um this is self tanner in the shade medium by loving tan and my face is already really really pale compared to my body, but I was like, oh, I found the bottle. Like, let me test it out. I have been self-tanned in like a year and a half. So I was like, let me try it out. And I love how it looks like, but at the same time, I hate it. I just don't like the smell. Pero mis manos siempre se ven raras. Ew. Okay, anyways, just ignore that. It will wash off. I think I like it when it's like three days in. It looks a little bit more natural. I look like a Cheeto right now. I'm gonna pick an outfit. Okay, be right back. I popped on a dress. I haven't worn a dress in like millions of years. So it's kind of sunny and warm outside and we're going to take advantage. I also shaved my legs, so <laughs> I never shave my legs, y'all. Like, Luckily, my leg hair isn't as thick. I literally don't have a lot of hair here. I feel like that's my insecurity is that no tengo mucho pelo here. I actually just ordered the rosemary oil. I've been having it in my cart for like the longest time, but I was like, no, I'll be fine. And I actually used to do um, like a rosemary water thing when i was younger i used to like grow it in my garden and my mom would like cut it and put it in a bottle where i could spray it into my hair it was so nice because it smelled so good please ignore the bra i'm gonna wear a jean jacket on top so because i have not waxed my armpits i need to wax my armpits in a little bit my appointment is at 11 and it's 10 28 okay i'm just gonna put a little bit of product on my face to at least match my body <laughs> put some lip balm on 
I really love this lip balm, y'all. I saw that they came out with a pink one, and I was like, ooh. But I actually don't have a dark foundation, but I kept this concealer for this reason. It's a concealer from Pat McGrath in the shade LM10, and it's just, like, perfect when I'm self-tanned. And since I feel like concealer basically can look like foundation like i always do that with concealer if i'm too lazy to wear foundation so i was like eh, i'll keep it um, it's like perfect look at this matches oh i'm blended in no match i'll probably wear a hat the foundation from pat mcgrath is a little bit darker i mean this is like my summer shade so i guess i'll blend it in a little bit with this okay i'm just gonna put a lot of stuff on my face i'm ty i promise you it's gonna look good just give me a second oh so let me talk about the makeup class I'm taking in Atlanta tomorrow. I'm taking a personal makeup class with the makeup artist who did Miss Universe makeup, like Arbony. Yes. I actually found her through my mom because my mom followed this makeup artist and she, like, she would always send me her profile um, through my DMs and be like, look, Miha, like, look at her. She did a lot of cute makeup looks during the Miss Universe competition. And I was like, wow, like, she's really good. And when I saw that she was offering classes, I was like, bet, like, that's an awesome opportunity. She literally lives so close to me. Like, I'm gonna take advantage. And then I saw that she was also promoting this masterclass in Atlanta as well. But this is like for a big group. So basically, the people who did Miss Universe's makeup is like a big team from this one makeup line called Muba. And she's one of the team members. If I can go to that masterclass, like I can get so many more connections. I can also like learn, obviously learn from the class. I think that's where I struggle is with like very full coverage. I just don't like full coverage, but I like to learn techniques maybe to like put a little bit into my own makeup style um, because I do have clients who are like, no girl, like pile on the makeup. I don't want to see no freckles or anything. So I want to practice more in that style. And what better way than to learn from people who literally do makeup for TV on pageant girlies. So I'm so excited. That masterclass, like the big group one, is going to be in April. So if you're a makeup artist, and you've never gone to a makeup class, I really recommend it. It's just good to like get knowledge from other makeup artists, learn their techniques, know what's in style, like what products they use and everything like that. I thought since I'm a little nervous for that class, I'm not gonna lie, I wanna take like a more personal class with, with Claudia, that's the name of the makeup artist. Claudia just seems like very genuine and I'm gonna have my cousin be my model for both master classes actually. So I was like, Jasmine, Ponte lista porque te voy a maquillar. Pero I'm so excited. Nerviosa as hell, pero it's okay. Those are good nerves. I feel like I can't even talk. Like, I've been nervous this past couple of days just because I have it in the back of my mind. I literally was doing my makeup without, like, realizing what I was doing. I have a little bit of powder. And I also got my friend Martha to come to the masterclass with me. And I'm so excited for Martha. Because if you guys don't follow Martha, she's also another makeup artist. And she does YouTube. And I'm going to leave her channel down below. But she's so talented. And I told her, like, Martha, let's take this class together. Like, I'm going. Try to go. But yeah, I told Martha, like, come on, girl. Let's go together. It won't be hard. It's literally, like, just you watching the makeup artist and learning the techniques. It's also very beneficial for makeup artists to take classes like this because you can eventually raise your prices because these classes will be like a backup for you to say like, yeah, I took classes for makeup from a professional. You can't say nothing to me. Highlighter blush. It's the pink highlight from the Dior palette. I also need to shave my face. It's just the whole removal hair type of week for me. Okay, I need to hurry up. I already know I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight because the anxiety I'm going to feel. And then on top of that, my parents get back from Mexico today and they get home around 10. I'm not too worried about like having that much sleep because I've done it before. Like I've done weddings where I literally woke up at 3 in the morning. I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Okay. Mientras me voy a poner this desodorante. I can't say that in Spanish. Deodorant. I'm going to put a little bit on. Don't look at my arm here. I'm going to put on a little bit of perfume. I haven't worn this in a while. 
I'm wearing my Julia chain. Literally haven't worn this in forever. And oh, I forgot my eyebrows. That's why I look so weird. I'm like, what the heck? Why do I look so bald? A fresh tube of my favorite brow gel from NYX. The Thick It Stick It. I'm in the shade Brunette. I have to go very light-handedly on this because it is quite pigmented. <gasps> Equally like that. <laughs> Run it through with a clean spoolie. I'm gonna do a little bit of lip liner since I already have like chopstick. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, and I am done. I'm gonna just pop on a purse and let's go. I'm wearing my Reeboks. And I'm gonna bring this purse. This is from Amazon, by the way. I have it in my Amazon storefront. I literally use it every single day. And <laughs> this is actually the second time I've bought in this, but I don't know if I bought it from the same retailer because you know how they have different sellers on Amazon. The first one literally broke on me like at the end of my Mexico trip. And that was like a whole month of using the bag. <laughs> I don't blame it like the poor purse had too much stuff in it and like the strap snapped in the middle of the street in mexico it was quite embarrassing but anyway i'm just gonna go head out because no quiero llegar tarde i decided to bring my hat because it is quite sunny outside i feel goofy though sometimes with hats because i only wear them when i go on walks with my dog good is this cute i don't know Do i look goofy whatever i'm just gonna leave it like this all right let's go all right, I'm out of the Brazilian. If y'all live in Prattville, go to Smart Skin Spa and ask for Angel. Um, she's an angel. Um, she's really quick. Literally, she does my Brazilian in like 10 minutes. So that's like amazing. And it didn't hurt too bad this time. I just kind of talk through the pain. Like literally, I talk with her and she kind of distracts me. But yeah, it's such a nice day outside. I kind of want to do something cute outside. No, it's a little too hot if you stay out. But um, it's 76 degrees right now. But uh, I'm going to head to the studio now and grab my stuff. The traffic here downtown... It makes it hard for me to leave. That's why my car is beeping. So, I came to Ulta. I'm only gonna buy several things. Okay, just a little bit of things, not too many. All right, guys, so I went into Ulta because I needed like some things. I didn't get a basket so that I wouldn't be tempted to buy more things. Good tip for you guys. So I was running really low on shampoo and conditioner, so I bought this one from Way. I've tried it before, but I wanted to go back to it. It's for medium hair shampoo and conditioner. Oh my lord. And then I got the Way leave-in conditioner because I'm running low on my Bumble and Bumble. I liked that leave-in conditioner, but I always like to switch it up so I have like more options like i always like going to different ones and then at the end i'll go back to one if i liked it whatever let me lock my door first of all um and then i got my dry shampoo from the dry bar i love this one it just smells so nice and then i got some essence eyeliners because i threw away my eyeliners and i was like yeah i don't have brown or nude anymore so i needed to buy those and then last but not least i needed a body scrub so this one from tree hut in the scent tropical glow it smells quite cute i just needed something to scrub especially since i yesterday i put myself tanner on and i usually like to go in with my loofah and then some body sugar scrub or something like that but oh nothing yet so i needed to get some more of that all right and now i'm gonna go get gas and then go to the studio so let's go all right so i'm back at the studio i'm gonna be doing just like makeup on my cousin so i'm pretty sure i don't have to bring like all of my brushes but i'm gonna bring it just in case like it's gonna seem really excessive since my makeup kit is very much for a wedding not for just one client but it's okay It feels so odd to like pack my makeup kit because it's been a while since I've like traveled with it. I feel rusty. Like my first makeup trial for a wedding isn't until next week. So I've only been doing like baby showers or photo shoot makeup.
And guys, I actually just recently figured out that I could do this with my printer. Let me put you guys here. So on my little printer, I could like put an image on it and look, and now it says NARS, but like in their font. How cute is that? So that's so nice. And now I have it like on the outside. So I know like if it's rolling on the table, like that's the NARS foundation or something. And then like the Giorgio Armani. <laughs> So I'm looking through my foundations because I kind of want to take one home for me since I'm a little darker. And I totally forgot that I bought this new shade from Luminous Silk and it's the shade 7.5. So look at this, 7.5 is a lot lighter than the shade 6 that I have in my kit already. I don't know, that's kind of odd to me. Like why would they make 7 a little lighter than 6? I don't know. I'm actually probably going to take this with me, but I also need to depot it. Hopefully I still have like enough for me to like take with me after I depot this. That's like a perfect foundation shade for me since I am super orange. That's like perfect. It blends into my self-tanned hands. It is so hot outside, 79 degrees. <laughs> I'm literally almost done. I just have to like get some palettes that I have at my house and then just stuff them in my kit and then I should be good. Okay, a ver si puedo bajar todas estas cosas. <laughs> so heavy. I wore my hat backwards because I don't like it when it's hot and then my freaking hair sticks to my forehead. So my brother brought me food from the restaurant. He brought me my favorite, the California burrito. It's chicken, rice and beans. Sorry about the music, by the way. <laughs> I turn it down. Es que me acostumbré that my house always has music like in the background. So I'll play music to make the house feel more homey. But anyway, the California burrito has uh, your choice of meat, which I get chicken, rice and beans, cilantro, and cebolla. Why did I say cilantro like that? Cilantro y cebolla. And it has like our special California sauce, which is like, it's like a tangy sauce. It's like sour, but spicy. I don't know, it's so good. Se me hace la boca. It's so, so good. So I'm just gonna finish my video that I was watching earlier of Kendall Ray and eat my burrito and cranberry juice before I go to work. I go in at three today, so I need to hurry up. All right, I'm gonna go to work now. I put on my work makeup. I just touched up a little bit. I put the nude eyeliner in my eyes. It looks so much brighter. Like I, I noticed my eyes looking like in this um the uniform cinco de mayo t-shirt i'm gonna take my work cup and a trabajar hey you guys so i just got home from work and i'm really really tired since i woke up at like seven um which is good because i need to be sleepy in order to wake up at like three in the morning tomorrow. And um, before I go to sleep, I need to eat. So I brought a Mexican sandwich from our restaurant. <laughs> um, this is also one of my favorite things. Our, all of our food is pretty good, not gonna lie. But this has like chicken, bell peppers, onions, cheese, and it comes with a salad, but I took it out. And I just like the French fries on the side. And I've been loving mixing cilantro and the salsa. We used to do that a long time ago, but no one really liked it. Like our customers weren't used to the cilantro, so we just took it out. But I love cilantro in the salsa. It's a shame we had to take it out. And a little bit of cheese dip. Literally so excited to eat. But I'm gonna just watch a little bit of YouTube, eat fast, and then I have to finish my bed sheets. Like they're still in the washer. So. All right guys, I'm going to bed now. My parents are actually on their way, so I feel like I can wait for them because I really want to see them. They've been in Mexico for like over a week and a half, so I miss them a lot. <laughs> just putting on my skincare so I can be ready and just like 
lay my little head to sleep when they get here. I'm exhausted. Exhausted. I already have my outfit picked as well. I didn't get to wax my underarms, so long sleeve it is. I'll just do that when I get back home. This is my go-to moisturizer. It's just so, so good. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can. I'm going to ask her if it's, like, cool to vlog on, like, little snippets. Obviously not the whole thing. My brain is ready to learn. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to try to get sleepier while I wait for my parents. Good morning, everyone. So it is currently 3.20, and um, doing my makeup with my orange foundation. Um, just kidding. <laughs> I actually looked back at the clips from yesterday and it doesn't look bad like my my tanner except for my hands like I don't know why I just I always feel like it doesn't look natural on me but it looks like good I'm just not used to it anyway so I am getting ready and I have a swollen eye like my right eye is very very swollen I literally feel like chubby like on my eye right there like when I lift it up when I look up <laughs> But whatever. Am I tired? Um, uh, not really. I just feel like swollen, but other than that, I'm excited. And I nervously, like always, have my maps on my phone to make sure like that I'm on time. I always do that when I have to travel. I always put it on my maps right when I wake up and I just track myself with my time and I'm like, okay, if I leave like in 10 minutes, I'll get there with 40 minutes to spare in the car or something like that, you know, you just never know. Yeah, this foundation color is really good for my tan. I'm gonna get ready very, very quickly and then I will talk to you guys when I'm done. All right guys, we're at the master class. Acuérdate como empecé yo, marcando. Esos son los detallitos que hacen la diferencia. Seguir, mira, acuérdate como fue. Él se fija todo, tienes que hacerlo al pie de la letra como él enseña. She looks amazing. <laughs> Siempre yo a mi chica siempre es, si no me gusta lo que estoy viendo, borra y vuelve a empezar. Mm -hmm. Porque cuando tú ya ves el resultado final, tú dices, vale la pena. Right. She looks amazing. Yes. I can do. Lo vas a hacer espectacular, Thank Monica. You. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, guys. So, me and Hasmin are back. <laughs> Thanks. So, we're back from the master class. Um, we're just chilling at the house for a little bit. And thankfully, Hasmin lives here in Atlanta, so we can hang out but we did she did such a great job as my model i'm so in love with like the look it came out so good she made me redo the eyes three times guys just and i was one. like yeah just one eye because like she did half of the face and i did the other side and then by the end of the of the class like we were switching off so but anyway it was just like an overall great experience i really really recommend to invest in yourself if you're also a makeup artist it's just like the way that you need to for your business to like just improve but yeah we're just gonna wait for my tia to get here so we can go eat some korean barbecue in the meantime we're gonna watch coco melon i guess so <laughs> I'm making a star. Rolling? Fried scrap cookies. Can you put it in there? Do you want it? That's it? What's for your grandmother? Wait, I want one of these. One of these. Should I bring that? Did you show these? No. It's a piggy. This little thing you guys want. My mom wanted to bring this little thing. Okay. 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 Ok
Charlie? Nah, tú vas a extrañar más que nosotros, huevona. <laughs> Your dad really missed you this. Don't do it again, Hasmi. So, that is a matcha strawberry drink. Luego, it's so, este so mes, good. Este I come to this bakery called Pencil and Gretel. It's so good. Oh, my mommy. Oh, my friend. But yeah, I love this place so much. No, Hey guys, acabo de llegar from Atlanta and it's 10 o'clock at night and I took off my contacts. Literally just try to be as comfy as I can because I was very tired on the way back home but it was such a fulfilling trip and class. I honestly get so motivated when I do things like this for myself and for my business. I don't know, I just feel so loved, especially when I post things about the class and all you guys were so sweet. So thank you guys so much for supporting me and, and showing me your support because sometimes I forget that people like actually like see my things. But when you guys comment like things like, oh, just so like I love watching you and thank you for showing your Hispanic side and like, thank you for speaking Spanish or thank you for being real and all this and that. And like, I really appreciate those comments because it motivates me so much more to keep talking to a camera because eventually it gets to you and you guys are so special to me. I love this connection that we have. So I really hoped that y'all enjoyed seeing how um, my class went. Yeah, I just really wanted to um, document this because because I hope that this motivates you if you're indecisive about starting your makeup career or if you've been wanting to take a class with someone but you're too anxious go for it you're gonna feel so accomplished because I feel like that right now I was so anxious guys like the traffic getting there super early leaving early um just everything and it's honestly scary putting your work out there because of the critiques but that's how you grow. If you don't take criticism like that, what is it called? Constructive criticism well, then this is not the job for you. You have to be humble. You have to let go of that ego and just let people give you advice because that's going to let you grow in this in any in any industry, honestly, because um, that's just how it is. So with that being said, I just want to give you like a little recap of what I think about the class that I took. I definitely have never had someone teach me like really like step by step even though I know how to do a full face or at least how I know how to make a full face look for me and my techniques and how I like my makeup to look. Um, it was just completely different because Claudia has her style and I trust that she knows because she's a professional. I mean she did Miss Universe's makeup but I really wanted to just see how she did it, her techniques. Like she saw my techniques and she was like, look, this is happening because you're doing this. And like, she didn't say I was wrong. She just said that like, let's try this other technique. And I was like, okay. And I personally struggle with doing full coverage. I'll do full coverage, but I feel like it could be more, or at least that's what I think. Today, the makeup that I did on my prima, Hasmin, was definitely like makeup for pageants and for camera work. So I'm really excited to implement that on my brides or on someone who really wants full coverage. I'm a very flexible makeup artist. Honestly, I could literally do a very natural look to a very, very glam look. So I feel like I have a lot of tools in my tool belt because of the clients I've had. I've had all types of clients with different gustos. Pero esto fue una experiencia so worth it, worth my anxiety, worth the drive. Um, les recomiendo si quieren tomar una clase con Claudia, si están por aquí en esta área, she lives in Atlanta, so take advantage, you know. Um, I need to go home because it's late and I'm tired. I need a shower and I need to upload this video soon. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing my vlog and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.